Hello, and today I am going to play 5 plus 3 daily tournament on Feed Online Arena. Let's go! So, uh, round 1, it starts in 30 seconds. Let's wait. There we go. Let's go to the game. And my first opening is AFM Arena Feeder Master Dr. Dorian. Wait. Let's call him Dr. Dorian. Good luck. And let's go. So d4, knight f6. Let's play d5 here. Okay, e4. So basically d takes c, f3, and that's some sort of a gambit. Yep. I can take, but I don't really want to take. Interesting. Mm, I'm not going for it often, but let's go for French defense. This bishop e7 takes. I'm going to take on f6. Bishop e7. Yeah, queen g4. Let's go for g6 here. Right, h4. I'm going to play c5. Yeah, I'm not, as I already said, I'm not a pro in French defense, so may get some problems maybe, but let's see. Let's hope that I won't get them. Let's play knight c6. This tournament will be out of seven rounds, so this is going to be interesting. Bishop c5. Okay, I can take pawn on f2. But I'm not sure if I'm greedy. I can definitely do take it, but his idea is knight e4 and then like knight f6. Um, I'm going to play bishop e7, I think. Yep. Okay. H5, yeah, he creates some problems. Mm, rook d8. Well, rook d8, rook g8. Let's go for rook g8. He'll probably take h takes g, I guess. Mm, I need to finish my development. So. Queen C set no bishop d seven takes takes okay this Queen B six is interesting. Yeah, I guess I need to throw this F seven pawn because if I'm going to hold the temperature, it does not seem very good. Um, queen b6, this long side castle is an interesting move. Queen f7, I will have rook df8 trapping his queen if he'll take his rook. We'll see what he'll do. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, he, he does take with the rook. Can take on f2, that's possible. Can play bishop e8. But I don't think I want to play bishop e8. Queen f2 looks very cool. Let's go for it. Yeah. Queen f2. So basically on material we equal, but I think I may like his position a bit more. Bishop b5, yeah, he has more active development. That's one second. My king is 
not super well placed, I guess. Let's play a rook f8 here with queen g2 ideas, maybe. Or main trap bishop g5. After queen g5, I have rook f7, taking the rook. And knight, if he'll play knight g5, I have queen f4 check. Okay, here's this. If he takes on e7, I'll take on f4. Yep. He takes on f8. Let's take on f8. Queen g4 from him. Yep. King. Let's see. Um. <laughs> Hmm. Yes, bishop d7. Protecting e6 pawn, I think. e6 pawn is more important than g6 pawn. You'll probably take g6 pawn, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, oh, king b1. Mm hmm. Interesting. Can play g5. If knight g5, queen f5 offering a queen trade, basically we are kind of for straight queens. To g5, knight g5, I also have rook g8. Hmm. No, let's try g5. It looks interesting. a3, rook f4, queen h5, queen g2. Hmm. Maybe let's play a6. Yeah, because let's not rush with anything. Okay. Yeah, I, I st still think his position is slightly or even better. <laughs> Maybe not even slightly, but better. But I also think my position isn't super bad. Let's play queen b6. With bishop a3 idea. Yeah, king a1. <laughs> Pretty understandable. <laughs> um, queen a5, let's play with bishop a3 idea. Just so if he'll take b takes a, I'll have queen c3. Yeah, if he'll move his knight to a2, I have rook f3, queen d2, so b1 is the only safe square, I think, for his knight. But not sure. Rook d3, yeah, that's that's an interesting move. Seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe play rook h8, trying to play bishop a3, b takes a queen a3, and some rook h1 ideas or something like this, I guess. Okay, king a2. Nice move from him. Uh, queen b6. Yeah, he does not. It seems like he doesn't rush with taking my g5 pawn. Yeah, because there I have rook g8 and. I should be good. Knight a4. Interesting. Queen b5. Okay. He repeats the moves. <laughs> Queen c4 is interesting, but I'm not sure. 
if I want to play it, because you can see what takes, takes rook d4, I don't see where do I have play. Let's go back queen b6. Now let's go queen a5, knight 3, king b8. Yep. Can be eight, yes, ninety five. So I think that may be a mistake if I'm going to do it. But I think I won't play it. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go back to Rook of Eight. So you going just kidding one? Yes, so. Queen h5, interesting, tries to go in. Uh, queen c7, I, I don't care about g5 pawn. I want to create some counterplay with like queen c4 there. Seems like that. Or, oh wait, knight g5, I have queen e5. <laughs> That's actually even better. Queen h7. Think rook e8. Protecting my bishop with g4 idea, maybe, this, let's give it a check on c4, yeah, b3, um, here I can try queen c5 actually, they don't think I will, let's play queen c7, after knight g5, keep in mind trap takes, takes and then d4. If he takes rook d4, he's trapping me, <laughs> and that I'm uh, trapping him. But yeah, nice play from him. Um, so I need king here. Okay, in time trouble. Is technically is also in time trouble, but I think I'm in bigger time. No, <laughs> he's definitely not in time trouble. Here, let's play d4. Yeah, well, I played king b8, that now rook d4, queen c3, that rook c4 is not with check. Yeah, maybe I need bishop b5, I'm not sure here. Mm. I'm not so sure about this. I don't think I'm winning, to be honest with you. Ah, uh, bishop e8, I'm in time trouble. Queen here. Let's play queen c5. Takes. Let's play like queen a5. Maintaining the tension, though he has queen g8. Yikes. Queen g8, I have a draw. Yes, it's nice. Play bishop c6. Hang e6 pawn, I know, but he won't have any traps. I hope. And bishop c3. With some queen e1 made threats. Bishop c3. Mm-hmm, nice, nice, nice. Let's keep it up. Queen e5. Here. e5, queen d2. Ship d5. Yikes. <laughs> I'm in a huge time trouble. Think I'm already maybe. Ooh, mouse slip from him, I think. That's a mouse slip. Uh, queen b6. Doesn't want to trade, but yeah. Okay, queen c5. B6. 
and C3. Taking Queen D4, King 8 and then Queen B8. Mm -hmm. Queen B8. Then Queen C8. Yep. And now somehow I need to win. No, I think I'm not going for this. It's like in a seven. I didn't see a win. Um Queen C six. Queen B six. Mm -hmm. Let me show Bishop here. A5, A4 idea. Yeah, I need to start pushing. Well, Queen A5 now. <laughs> uh, bishop here. Mm, giving him some play. Queen B5, A5, A4. This B pawn is winning. Wow, that was sweaty. Nice. <laughs> GG. But I managed to win. I bring up kids if you play kid if you would play kid if I would be a stalemate. Oi yo yo. But luckily <laughs> I cancelled pre move and he did not go for it. Okay, B3. Ooh, and I wonder him Arena Feeder Master. Dr. Dorian? Yeah, I'm calling him Mr. Dorian. Good game, B2. Whew. Good game! So... Nice! Mm, wait, let's go back. Tournament. Ah, waiting for next opened. Hold on. Mm. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, so that was a pretty hard game. Oi! <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Right. Oh, go to game. Play. Against Alexandra Nikus or I don't see the rest. Eh. Now let's go. Wait, wait, connect here. I'm confused. Just want to check his profile. <laughs> but I got kicked out of the game. Okay, um, so it's Dutch. Let's go for e4. F takes e, d takes e, I should be better, but he can take with d pawn. He does. Takes. Queen trade, yep. F takes c, I guess. Okay, he sings. Okay, I'm going to go for knight fd2. Uh, bishop e2 here. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about you, bishop e2. I don't play this opening very often, so maybe, yeah, d5. I wasn't sure what to play, so I played e4. <laughs> maybe it's not the best move. Well, we'll see, I guess. Mm -hmm. So if you'll play knight f6, okay, it does go for that. I guess I then I'm going to take here. They of course take back. Then I'm going to play knight e4, and then I'm protecting f2 pawn. Which is important. 
Ooh, e3. I think that may be a mistake. I'm not sure. I just think. Um, hmm. Nice. At least interesting move. Not sure if it will be good for him, but interesting. Let's see. Bishop c8. Yeah, like bishop c8 is interesting. He takes d, I take with bishop, for example. Bishop b7 is his threat. So he is forced to go on bd7, and then there'll be a pawn up. Because bishop f3 takes bishop b7, d takes c, king c1. That looks risky. It also does look risky. But it feels safer. Safer. <laughs> yep. So here, taking with bishop, if knight c6 from him, if knight c6, I'm going to go for bishop b7. Yeah, and I'll win uh, because of a uh, pin, uh, sewer, wait, hold on, <laughs> because of double attack, I am going to win a knight and base or a rook, and I should be winning, and he does go for that, and here I'm completely winning, he had to go for knight bd7, and yeah, but now he blundered, and I think I am completely winning. Okay, bishop c6, I'll just play knight c3, and this is a realization part, a pawn and the knight, uh, and the bishop up. So, let's win it slowly, but surely. Here. Alright, I'm going to go for a KD1. My development is technically, let's say, finished. Z is bishop f3. Bishop here. Alright. Bishop c3 takes. I'm going to trade rooks. At least it's my plan. And slowly but surely win it. Yep. Good game. So yeah, I think. Oops. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> I think the first mistake from him was when he played e3. It already gave me a pawn, right? He need to go knight g4. And after this, um, when he. Why what was it? When he played knight six that was even bigger mistake. Yep. Okay. Cool. Here let's go bishop e three. Then rook d3, rook hd1, putting pressure on d pawn, then taking the d pawn. <laughs> it's the plan. I'm just going to take rook d7. Nice, he takes, and then he blundered bishop c5, bishop a3, 4, technically not. And I wonder if Alexander Nikurus, no, wait, wait, um, so yeah, basically, what I was saying, it was good, here he need knight g4, and then this, this, yeah, knight 6 was a blunder. Uh, round 2 is... On, is going. Uh, so wait. Um. Okay. <laughs> Ferdinand Leonardo against Fidema, a, 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 a Renault Fidemaster Dr. Dorian. 
so it was 70 gambit and here seems like Dr. Dorian is completely losing so wait <laughs> there is two me <laughs> I'm playing in pair <laughs> yeah that's cool um let's see Anas Victor against Wanda Shah A ACM Wandan Shah so oh oh wait D2 Queen E3 Z's here I think Shah is forced ah he's already worse I think now Yikes Yikes Boom yeah It does look so this I think Queen B8 uh, queen e1, knight d1, it's important if rook d1, queen f2, shah would be okay. Um, but yeah, now after knight d1, there's no checks, and Victor is winning. Wait, did I go? <laughs> I need to click here. Oops. Um, okay, Toplin, Nikolai, and ACM, Mod Halan, M. Let's see. So it was like English opening. Oh, Bishop G6, what a nice tactic from Mahavan. And he won a piece, and now he's completely plus eight on material. That's a bishop and five pawns. Yeah, that's a lot. Nikolai is trying, but here goes the knight. And Mahavan. Should I keep forgetting? <laughs> and Mutawan is winning. So the tournament, as it seems, is going to last until 2025, so around 1 hour 25 minutes. So cool chess. So Victor won. Here, game didn't start. Here, my game. Game didn't start, and Dr. Dorian lost. <laughs> Makes sense, cool. So it's only Nikolai's game left, so I think Matavan is going to win it. Yeah, two pieces, four, three pawns actually now, <laughs> should get the win. Yeah, basically, keep bishop on e1 and you should, yeah, knight g4, in betweener, and yeah, plus 10 pieces of material, that's a lot for Madhavan. And I'll just d5 and push, I guess. What is this? Ninety-five or six. So basically, every round is more or less going to last fifteen minutes. Wait, but I want to be careful. But yes, he won't blunder, mate. <laughs> King g eight. Now, like rook d six, probably. Yeah. And that's a win for ACM Marhavan M. Very good game from both players, but yeah, Matavan played a bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, rook h7 now, I guess, on oh, g6, king e8. Here you need to be careful to not accidentally stalemate. Wait a second, yeah, there is no stalemate, so congratulations to Madhavan M for, with a victory. And nice game from Nikolai. Rook e1, king e1, here king e2, some checked, but king is going to hide on f3. Checks will be, will be over at some point, and yeah, good game. All right.
So the round number three is going to start. My game is against ACM Matavan M. Good luck. There is still a minute. The parents are me against Matavan. Anna's Victor against wait. Um Napoli. You didn't see everything. Then Ferdinand against Nikolai. Um Samir against Wanda and Sitso against Alexandru. Okay. Good luck to my open and Madhavan. And let's have fun. I think I'm going to play knight f3. First move. Knight Shoto. Just thinking. Nine. And game starts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like eight seconds still. Okay, f5 was in previous round, so Matavan goes for d5. This I'm not going for exchange slav. Let's try b3 with double fianchetto. I think now nah, maybe no double fianchetto e3 because I don't really want him to take bishop f3. So let's do it like that. Uh, looking good, bishop b2. Knight f6, I guess. Is this move? Yep, because if you would move f8 bishop, I would have bishop g7 and I would just win. Uh, this castle. <laughs> d3. Mm, okay, knight bd2. Is he going to go for e5? Maybe. It looks likely at least. No, he goes for queen e7 here. I think I'm going to go for d4, preventing e5. He may go for knight e4 though, but I think it's actually fine there. Mm, let's play rook c1. Alright. Here, mm, let's play h3. I think he's going to go for bishop h5. Yeah, I can try like knight b1, bishop h3 trap, but I'm 99% sure it won't work. His idea is probably queen d6, so let's try a3, queen d6, c5, and then b4, b5 ideas. Like that. Yeah, he. I'm still a bit worried he may go for knight e4. So as I already said before, I guess it's not really a threat. It just. Probably will be alright. For me, after take stakes 92. Well, let's see. Here, I'm going to go for b4 anyways. Because, yeah, queen a4 now can be an idea. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> can be an idea. Now I think knight e4 is a bit useless, let's say. I didn't see any point of doing so. Uh, so, yeah. e5. I can try c5 and then b5. Yeah, let's try c5. If he'll take a takes b, I'll take a takes b back. And then b5 idea, trying to make his c6 pawn very weak. That looks like a good plan. He does take on b4. Now if he'll go for e5, I think my plan is going to be broken. But <laughs> he needs to find it yet. Still, he does find it. Interesting. I think I can take with the pawn. He'll take with the knight. I can take with the knight. Take with bishop. Oh, well. <laughs> let's go for it. Uh, this. This knight takes. If he's going to take bishop e2 now, I have knight c6. B takes c, queen e2. If bishop e5. Maybe bishop d4 or maybe bishop e5. We'll see. Yeah. Tight bishop e5, okay. Let's play bishop e5, I think. He's going to take queen e5, I think, because bishop e2, bishop f6, and it's not good. Let's go for bishop e5.
Knight takes. Okay, knight takes is interesting. I'm going to go for knight b3 with knight a5 idea. Because <laughs> then, if you'll play rook b8, I have b5. And then c takes b, c6 breaks through. c7 is his threat. And if b takes c, I have knight c6, and it's a royal fork. This is looking very cool. So let's play knight a5, and let's hope that he is going to play rook b8. If you won't, well, <laughs> it won't be the end of the world. Yeah. He goes for queen e7. I think let's play queen d4, taking the middle square with my queen. Idea rook fd1, and then. I'm not sure. Rook fd1. Here, knight c4 may be a plan with knight b6 or knight d6 ideas, but I'm not so sure. b7 is a big weakness from him, for him, and b5 can be an idea at some point for me. So here I think I may play queen f4 and then knight c4 idea, but I'm sure that just I'm just making a move, making him think, because I think I don't have a risk of losing unless I'll blunder. Yeah, I guess he technically also does not have it, but well, <laughs> but okay. Rookie four idea from him. Um, okay, I think rook d4 is the move from me then. If rook e4, it'll take rook e4, I think. d takes c, I have queen d6, and looks good. If knight e4, I have rook d1, or something like that. But it just goes to queen c8, that's an interesting move, actually. I don't really see the point, so I'm going to double up my rooks on d file. This. Feels like his idea may be knight c3. Mm -hmm. I think I can go back with my rook, preventing knight c3, and then my idea can be like f3, you know? And I'm putting his side back and then even breaking through e4. So that's that looks very interesting. He goes for g5. Mm, yeah, that's a nice move, I think. Uh, I can let's play queen f3. If f5, I can play knight b3 and an ad4. Oh, I hung a pawn. Nice tactic from Matalan. Good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take queen f6. Yeah, queen f6, g5 pawn hangs. I don't know how he's going to protect it, because h6 I have queen h6, if queen e6, queen g5, queen g6, oh, <laughs> there we go, there is the way how. <laughs> mm -hmm. Queen d4, this, rook c3, Yikes, I don't think I'm really good positioned. But have one for his rating place very, very, very well. Um, and yeah. Let's try to come back win. We'll see if I will manage to do it or I won't. Let's play rook C D C one. I don't really see a point of that, but I still did it. I think, yeah, why play rook c1? Just so rook b3 and c5 pawn is not hanging. That was the point. Queen g4, queen c8 idea maybe. Yeah, that's why. I think he goes for this, preventing me from playing that. Let's play queen d1. Rook c4, mm hmm, interesting. Takes. 
right now I think I'm going to go for rook c3. If he'll take queen c5, I think I, I'm going to force a draw. With rook c4, queen d8. He does. <laughs> I don't want to draw, but <laughs> I think if I'm going to play on win, it may be even worse. So, queen d8 check. And rook c4. I think he may play queen e5. <laughs> yeah, I think the draw isn't the result we may go. Because, yeah, he does go for queen e5. He does not want to draw at all. Um, I mean, I need to go for all like... I need to go for all like rook c1 or g3. g3 looks inter more interesting because... Yeah, <laughs> it just looks more interesting, let's say. <laughs> um... Through k1, I'm going to go for king g2. <sighs> I think my plan is king g2 even if you won't play it, okay, one. But it just says go for it. So I'll go for it. Mm, b5, I can take on c6. We can't tie. Um, I guess I cannot, but rook 6, queen e4. King e no, I cannot. No, no, no. Definitely can't. Um, rook b4, let's say, uh, I still cannot take, oh, true, <laughs> mm -hmm. so rook g4 then. <laughs> H6, I think I may go all in play H4. Because <laughs> I, I don't see anything else. My rook is stuck. <laughs> Everything doesn't look way too good. And it feels like he plays so good. Yeah, I wish I could play like that. <laughs> because my rook is stuck and I don't know how to save it, you know? <laughs> Whoa. Play this. <laughs> Trying to defend mo by by my best, but I don't think I will defend at the end because he plays so extremely, extremely, extremely well. And yeah, for his rating, he plays extremely good in here. Rook Rook H one is a made threat, so I'm going for this. King H seven. I don't have any checks, and well, that's a loss. Um. I guess, yeah, let's say it was well deserved. He played like, like, Betches and Magnus. <laughs> and Rook H1 made a little game, whatever. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Um, okay. So is next round going to start soon? Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think there is any games. Ah, wait, there is one. There's two games going. Uh, Nikolai and... It's within this is interesting. Wandan Shah against Samir. Mujerji? King c5, it seems like it's winning for, one, uh, for Shah. But I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, now King c6. And it seems like a draw now. Rook b2, just give a check. Mm, Rook b5 is also a good move. Then king 6 is really important to play. Yeah, now king 6 and Samir will have a draw. And he does find it, so that was a fight, but it ended in a draw. Good games. Still didn't end though. <laughs> Maybe Samir may find the win. Rook b7, if rook b7, Samir. Nah, it's a draw. But I think, yeah, Shah needs to go for this. Then rook g... No, maybe he needs rook g5 immediately, because now king e4, rook b5. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! 
scary for Shah now or rook b5 king b5 king e4 king e5 king e3 king b4 king c2 that would have been a draw but he doesn't want to trade and now there is a chance of Samir's win though I think it won't happen but yeah he had a chance though he still has it king c2 king b3 yeah it's probably going to end in a draw Can be two. <laughs> Maybe rook b8 is easier to just keep checking then rook b8, etc. Yeah, rook 3 can be two. I think easy move if rook c4 just trade it off. If not, then yeah, he doesn't let your queen king to go to third rank. You don't let his king to go to fourth rank. Just play rook h4, rook g4, or king b2, king e2, and no one won't win, I think. Yeah. Uh, Samir doesn't have any way to go through. Now can be two and they are repeating the moves. What an intense game. No, they're not. Okay, king a3, I think. Uh, Samir will understand that he needs to go for rook f3. And I think it will be threefold repetition. So if... Ooh, wait a second. Rook f3? Yeah, can be two draw. No! Rao doesn't want to draw! Uh oh! That may be scary, but I guess can see two. And it's still going to be. Wait, that's a blunder! Isn't it? Yeah, Shao just blundered. A2 now! And Samir is completely winning. A2! Rook a8, Rook f1. If this you go king c5. Or king a3. Yeah, but king c5, rook a8. Rook f1, rook a2, rook f2, skewer. Oh, wow! Why don't Trump manage to lose it? When he could have just repeated the moves. Yikes! Oof. Rook b8, and yeah. Good game from Samir. He managed to win out of nowhere. Let's say, and oof, for shock that he lost it. Okay, ooh, my opponent is Samir. Muherji, good luck. I'm playing with black pieces. Um, the parents are. What are we against? Victor Arnas, Alexandra against Nikolai, Wanda against Doctor Dorian, then me against Samir, and. Good luck to Samir and let's win. Round will start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, d4, starting move from Samir. Interesting. Bishop f4, so it seems like it's going to be like London. Knight bd7, I'm going to play g6, bishop g7, so I'm going to find cat to the dark square bishop. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think usually you play c4, but I'm not such an opening expert, so I'm not sure. I think this is fine. Yeah, bishop b2. This, I'm going to maybe even double find cat and play b6, c5. Let's go for b6, and then maybe bishop b7 first, and then c5. That looks interesting. I guess he may play d5. I will see. Of course I'm going to think. If I won't like position after c5, I won't go for it, of course. Yeah. This, I mean, c5 is looking cool. I know you will play d5 probably, but we'll see. a6, b5 idea. If you will play d5. Okay. 
Maybe he won't go for it. Yeah, he does not go for it now. I think I may play a6 and then b5 idea, right, if he'll go for d5. So he maybe he's going to go for a4. No, he doesn't. Then b5 with b4 idea. And if d takes here, I'll take with the knight, of course. And it feels like I have more space and I like my position quite a lot. Nice. Okay, yeah, he takes, I'm going to take b4, knight c4, knight f4, everything looks like a very good position for me in general. Okay, b4. Whoa, what a move. Okay, I think I'm going to go for knight c4. Maybe it's not the best way of using b4, but it looks fine, at least. Now my idea is knight c3. I reckon his bishop, that's one. I reckon his rook on d1, that's two. And I reckon a2 pawn, that's three. And right now I'm taking the queen. So that's... <laughs> my knight is going to deal a lot of damage. Here I have bishop c3. And I can just win an exchange. Yeah, let's... Let's just go for it. If knight d2, I first will go for bishop b4. And only then win an exchange, I think. Yeah, let's go for bishop b4. Because I also want a pawn. I even can go for queen a5 at some point. To try to win a whole rook. Or even more than a rook. Here, I think I'm going to take on d2. If you go for bishop b7. Bishop b7, knight f3 and bishop e1. That looks very good. So he takes here, I'm going to take on f3. And then g takes up my queen e5 idea. is going to be very good for me. Nice. Yep, d2 rook is falling, and in right now I'm six material, p points up, it's a pawn, it's a rook, and yeah, I'm going to get my bishop out, and then going to take on e2, so should be very good. Yeah, and I think my previous opponent was probably Magnus preparing for tomorrow's game, yeah, <laughs> I think so. This, I will offer trade a lot of times because the trade is good for me. So he has not, he cannot trade, otherwise he'll lose. This, I don't know. Uh, let's play d5. I can just push a pawn if I want to win. So yeah, this. Go for a5 and then push, 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 get another rook, and with two extra rooks it will be easier to win. But now after he played king g2, my plans change, and I'm going to go for queen e4, and then trade queens, because trading queens is even better. And then just a4, a3, a2, okay, I'm going to take his queen, then take in h6, g, and then a4, a3, a2, a1, idea. I will probably just play bishop f6, <laughs> yeah, to save that. My bishop is here. Yep, okay, here I'm going to take a4. I think I may go for b4 and b3. Because if a3, a2, he would have rook a1. Now takes, takes this. Okay. Here, rook a1. Here, I'm going to promote to a queen. Queen g1 check. 
going to take his rook. If king of three I'll play, I'm going to go for rook e8, of course. Then pre moving the rook of one. You play king two. <laughs> so I'm on pre moving rook of one. Oh, and on the team, Samir Moherji. Good game. Um, let's go to daily tournament. And Matawan is completely winning against Victor. Oh well, let's have a look at the game of Matawan M against Anas Victor now. I'll be back in a few minutes. Hello again, I'm here. So yeah, it seems like Mana won, won against Victor. Wish not so many chances for Victor. And the new round is going to start very, very soon. I'm second place now. Nice again. So, Tapin Nikolai against Alexandru Nikosor. Oh, this game is over. So, next round is going to start soon, right? Yeah, my opponent is going to be Anna's Victor. Good luck. I'm playing with white pieces. Round is going to start in 40 seconds. Yeah, nice. So this one, more or less, I think will is going to be is going to be finished in forty five minutes. So each round, fifteen minutes. Around. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good luck. Victor is from Philippines, as it seems. Ooh. Let's play d4. g3. Bishop g2, Fianchetto. He also makes a Fianchetto. 
here. I'm gonna try another fianchetto. Let's go for bishop b2, queen d2, c takes b, d takes c. Mm -hmm. b4, preventing him from going b4 by his own. Yes, knight e4. Uh, but still, he did not play it. Let's go for rook a1, I guess. Oops. Um, Let's play knight d4, because, yeah, after knight d4, my g2 bishop sees more, he, my opponent cannot play rook a8, rook b7, bishop c6, now can't even play knight, can go pawn d5, knight d5, though I guess it's, it's not really because of bishop, but anyways, I think open bishop is good. Yeah, this idea is rook c4, I'm pretty sure. So, I think just to be sure, I can go for a3, protecting b4 pawn. <laughs> yeah, why not? Seems simple and looking good. Here, let's go for queen e3. Okay. A g4, queen, uh oh, he's putting some pressure, let's play queen d3. Here, queen d2, knight d5 idea. Okay, this is knight d5, the threat is of course knight to e7, <laughs> you of course see that threat, <laughs> yeah, um, okay, oh no wait, bishop d4 would have been a blunder actually, because he would have rook d4, queen d4, knight f3, winning, with winning position for him, um, Let's play f4, I think. I think he probably is going to go for knight c6. If knight c6, then I'm going to play bishop g... No, okay, that's not. Uh, can h1 here, then, I guess. Yeah, knight g4. Well, taking on g7. Knight f2, in general, in material point of view I should be better there if he would go for it but he does not go for it okay um, queen b2 check and e4 now I think if e6 I have knight f6 yeah because basically his threat was knight f2 and yeah, giving away an exchange for basically no reason is not the thing I really like to do. So that's why I prevented it. Mm -hmm. E5 is interesting. <laughs> they don't see any future, but bishop d5, bishop d5, at least this makes me happy. E5, d takes e. Can play. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> Because I've spent quite some time and I didn't see anything better. So, yeah, let's go for e5. F takes c, h3 is the move I consider. Maybe, I know, maybe it's not good. 
But I'm not sure. I mean, FTXC is also looking quite, quite decent. So, uh, maybe FTXC and NH3 is an idea. Yeah, that that may be a good combo. H3. Should I go for it? I mean, definitely, of course, I don't. I don't shoot. I want to go for it. So, let's go for it. He'll go for rook c2, probably. Yep. Ah, okay. Queen d4. His knight hangs. And if he'll move his queen from a7, e7 pawn hangs. So basically a variation, queen d4, rook d4, knight f2. Rook f2, okay, he takes. If knight f2 here, I'm going to take, I think. He takes back knight e7, knight c8. So right now he's knight and he's technically through hangs. Though he has bishop d5 and I think there he should be quite alright. Yeah, he finds it. I think I'm going to take bishop d5 because rook d5, knight e3. Otherwise it's not so good. So bishop d5. Might have two here. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, hmm. King G two because King G one you would have knight H three. So King G two. This I think King G one here. This rookie four. And then if he can play f6, if he'll move his knight f like bishop f7 or rook f7. So maybe comeback time. Yeah, I definitely didn't like my position before, but now it seems that it is equal. Ah, uh, bishop e6 now. Now he is e6 and he is b5 pawn hangs, but he has rook eight c3. Maybe I'm, maybe when I said I'm equal, the position is equal, I was very wrong, I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, so. Oh, well. This. I'm a pawn up. <laughs> wow, what is going to happen now? Uh, we'll choose it with <laughs> two points down. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, is he going for a draw? Oh, sneaky. I don't know why he played uh, him in between, but okay. Uh, rook b7. Let's create problems for him. I'm not sure what problems I can create though, but I am going to try some. Let's go rook d1, rook d8 idea. Okay. Rook f2 probably? No, rook c8. Now I have rook d7 and rook c1. This he mates me. <laughs> so that's definitely not the thing I'm going to do. Let's go for b5. And then b6, rook c7 idea. Here. <laughs> no b6, rook c7 idea. Uh, rook d7 though is the idea. Rook, yeah, it looks good. It looks interesting. Rook b1, king g2, rook b2. Oh wow, that's actually very spicy. Um, hmm. So he's fine with the draws, it seems, right? I mean, he's thirteen mate, of course. <laughs> of course, I see that. Rook g7, this rook h7, nothing. Check. Yeah, I don't think I can win this. Rook f5. Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe I can. I'm not sure. Yeah, because this can be like an issue. It feels like I can win, but no, I cannot. So I'm just going to lose. But I'm not sure if it is the case here. b6. I mean, okay, rook g7 check. 
here. Yeah, rook trade as expected. And that's going to be a draw, I think. <laughs> yes, I need to be very happy with the draw. Because <laughs> I, yeah, I think I was the one who was making the draw. Who, he was the one whom the draw slipped <laughs> through his fingers, let's say. Um, oh well, just play rook e8. Well, lucky game, I guess. Technically, I've created some contraplay, but I think I was completely lost. King h2. Just got in his king. Then he did, did not think at all. <laughs> and Rodri Manas Victor. Good game. Oh well. No draw. <laughs> no draw. Draw. <laughs> Good game. Um, 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 Mathavan is going crazy. <laughs> He's rushing through everyone. Um, so, Taplin Nikolai is playing against Dr. Dorian. Okay. Hmm. G4, I mean, it feels like Dr. Dorian is worse, but I don't see a uh, like, straight breakthrough way. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have 3 with queen d5. Thread, that is a very nice idea from Nikolai. Queen 7, king g2. Okay. Next Dorian is in time trouble. Queen here, queen d5, queen d5, queen f7, rook h8. Uh, win for Nikolai. Will he find it? I'm pretty sure he will, if he'll think. For some time, so queen d5, queen f7 is forced, rook h8, queen g7, queen d5, mate. Yep. This. Rook h8 is important, and that's gg. Queen e5, and yeah, it's up to Nikolai 1. So I think I'm going to play against Nikolai, won't I? Okie dokie. So I am second right now. Oh no, I'm third. Um, no, oh, wait. Playing in Ferdinand Leovardo, good luck. Ah, there, there it is. So I have high, I have highest tiebreaker of everyone. Um, four guys have been withdrawn from the tournament. So. Ferdinand is from USA. Let's drop right to the game and good luck, Mr. Ferdinand. Okay, he is starting with Knight of Three. So ready opening. Keep good luck. D five. G6, it, uh, he made double fan kettle. Rook E8. E4, I'm going to meet E4 with E5. Okay. Take six. Yeah, I'm not sure about D4 because now I have E4. I think after this, I'm going to take on E5. And then here, knight to g4. And if he's going to play f4, I have queen b6, knight f2, and there'll be an exchange up. Or I can go e takes f. 
but I think we will be stronger. And I think if my pony is going to fall, well, maybe not, maybe not. We'll see. Takes on e5. If he'll take c takes d, I'm, I might consider e takes knight f3. Yeah, let's go for it. Knight f3, bishop b2, rook b1, e takes f, I'm better. Bishop f5, bishop f3, bishop b2. Okay, he has goes for knight f3, so now bishop b2, rook b1, I think, is the move he's going to play. Saving his rook. And after that, he'll have e takes f. And also attacking his g2 bishop. So, yeah, he just gives away an exchange. I'm going to go for queen d5 here. They think I'm winning. Though, let's not take it easy. Let's win it. And then I can take it easy when I watch some game. So, yeah. I think my last open may be Nikolai. We'll see. Boom. Okay, Ferdinand is thinking. If rook d1, I think bishop g4 is the move I'm going to go for. f3 takes f, basically. If knight c4, bishop g4 also, maybe. Here I'm not sure. Preventing rook d1, but he has knight e3. Oh, well, it just goes for queen e1. Let's go for bishop f5 then. Yeah, knight c4 now from Ferdinand. I'm going to go for rook d8. And if you go for knight e3, I'll play queen d2, offering a queen trade. Because, yeah, I want to trade queens here. He does not want to trade queens. But okay, he just plays queen c3. So for queen trade at d4 first. Here e3, f takes e, rook e3. King h1, rook e2. Yeah. And if knight e3, f queen b4. Okay. He takes, rook takes e3. Yep. This and that's a blunder because I have rook b3 check, then I have rook b7 and queen c4, and that's a victory for me, I think. Yeah, another game, Ferdinand Liawardo. Good game. So, the six round six is in progress. Dr. Dorian is losing to Marhavan. Yeah, <laughs> I still going on to think that Matawan is Magnus preparing for round three. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not true, but maybe it is true. Um, Nikolai is completely winning in Samir. Yeah, so I think Nikolai is likely my 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 my, my last opponent. Alexander against Victor Anas. And yeah, so just four games. Not sure if we'll get round seven actually. Um, wait, one ah, one then Shah got a buy. So it seems. So Nikolai just lost one game to Manhavan. Other games he won. All right. Da -da. Da, da, da. Oh wait, this is round three. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? What's happening? <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, one have one, one is winning. Uh, Samir is lost. Let's watch Alexander's game. Yeah, Victor is playing really fast. He literally does not think at all. Oh, I think that's not good for uh, for Alexandru because now e takes d, bishop f5, knight d4, or knight d5. And yeah, um, already Victor is a pawn up, and I think slowly but surely he is going to realize his pawn, so yeah. Da -da 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 -da. 
Slag in this game? I'm gonna show Slag wins. <laughs> Queen A5. I think if Victor will find Queen A5, it will be a complete win position for Victor. And he does find it. What a brilliant play by Victor. Um, so let's see. How many points do does Victor has? He has 3.5. So, ah, we are technically tied up. Uh, makes sense, makes sense. Um, da -da -da -da. yeah, uh, Samir is completely lost. Dr. Dorian, maybe Dr. Dorian will be the first one to not lose to Mother Avon. <laughs> maybe. Uh, 97, I think he's going to lose it. Um, ba -da -ba -boom. King h7, I guess. And bishop f6, he's, yeah. Dr. Dorian's knight is stuck. He's a pawn down. Not the best position for Dr. Dorian here. King h7, yeah. Takes, and you cannot take on f6 because it will be one mate. <sighs> Wait, what, what, what is it gonna be? <laughs> is there any other move? Uh, oh. Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't see that at all. <laughs> Actually, yeah. These. Look, F6. Yeah, so Victor won. I think we may have the same tiebreaker, don't we? With Victor, no, I have 3.5 high tiebreaker. Yeah, so I basically played against all tops, let's say. Of the tournament. Um, so yeah, Nikolai is winning. Here, Dr. Dorian will have to move his rook and then King f8 and his knight is getting stuck. Yeah! <laughs> what a game from Marhavan. Oh, Dr. Dorian. I mean, it's still not over, you know? Because King f8, g4. Maybe it's not all lost. Maybe uh, Dr. Dorian maybe is the first one to win against Marhavan. I'm not sure. So yeah, <laughs> win, win, win for Matt Havan. Yeah, usually he was losing, but but yeah, today he is going perfect. Reconnect. Yeah, I guess. I mean, rook b five, rook h five. Oh, rook a six. Okay. Um. So five v five pawn end game. Uh. The Doctor Dorian has. Two pairs of double pawns, so as it seems, Dr. Dorian is going to lose like rook a2, rook a5, rook h5. Slowly but surely, Matawan is going to eat all the pawns. So, yeah, Zaplin Nikolai is in second. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, I think it will be a fight for second place, me against him. I'm not sure, Matt. How about plays a bit weirdly? <laughs> ah, Moki. Okay. He's still. He's going to eat all the pawns. Yeah, I would probably just play rook a5, rook h5, eat all the pawns first, and then try to win. But he, he start pushing. Now rook c3, rook h2, a4. This is definitely going to promote the pawn. He's going definitely to eat all the Dr. Dorian's pawns. And. Is I think going to win the tournament with seven out of seven perfect result. Oh well, maybe he will win this game. Maybe he will also let's say choke in this game. Uh, but it's not likely. <laughs> yeah, very nice play. Eating all the pawns from Dr. Dorian. Almost one is left. <laughs> 
But yeah, now rook h4, king d3, rook h3, king d4, rook c3. You win another pawn. Yeah, this I will play rook. Oh, okay. Now rook h2. Oh, rook five. Yeah, so that's basically a matter of time how Madhavan is going to realize it all. Yep. Slowly but surely push your pawns to win the game. La 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 la. Hold on. Um. So, just nine players. Maybe we'll get a pair and I'll end up in fours. Maybe. Yeah, so sure. I can flip board. Oh, that's that that's <laughs> look that's so cool. Flip. No, flip. Flip back. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah. The one is sinking. Yeah, probably just rook h2 and then throw, throw for e6 spot of the window. Yeah, rook h1, nice trap if take rook e6. There is rook e1. Anyways, there is rook e1, but Manhaman doesn't go for it. This rook e1 probably. Or h2, king g2, rook e1 then. Rook e1. Or rook g1, king h2, rook g6, just cutting. Yeah, I can guess. Manhaman's move. Ah. Uh -huh. Three pawns. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Very hard for Dr. Dorian to do something. I'd probably play rook c8 with the ideas of trying something, but yeah. Okay, this game is probably going to be over in like a minute or or two. And the tournament is going to be ended in like 20 minutes, I guess. C2 can be 2, C1. GG. <laughs> Alright, so Manavan um, is, I think, of officially the winner of this daily 5 plus 3 tournament if he's going to win this game I think the chance that he is going to win are extremely high yeah Dr. Do oh I'm going to play against ACM Wanden Shah wait what? <laughs> why not against something Nikolai? you're going to play against Victor? oh he does I don't know why but I have a feeling that Shah will make a move just say sink and remember him not making a move. So Ferdinand is against Matavan. Victor, honest Victor against Saplan Nikolai. So I'll be in top three, I think. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, me against one Shah and Samir against Dr. Dorian. The round is going. To start in six, eight, five, wait, five, four, three, two, one, and last round is starting. Good luck to everyone. Let's have fun. Oh, what? Oh, 
Ah, he's in line. Yeah, as I thought, <laughs> it is not going to reconnect. And ta -da -ta -tan. your game to start soon until probably 20 minutes. Wait until others' game are going to finish. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. I know why Shahdin leaves the tournament 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I got a free win. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I won. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm second, there is no way I'll get to first, for sure, but there is a way that, I mean second, if Anas Victor is going to win against Nikolai Zaplin. But seems like Nikolai is putting pressure against Victor, Manhavan is putting pressure against Ferdinand. Okay, so Dr. Dorian got a win against Samir. The standings are like that. You don't have to see how it's tiebreaker anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, probably if Victor Anas is going to win, I'll be third, I guess. Maybe not. But, yeah, basically out of seven rounds, I didn't play against Sup and Nikolai only. And it seems like Victor is struggling. Ferdinand is also struggling a bit against Malhayan. Ooh, G5! If Victor will find G5, there is something interesting, but he doesn't find it. I thought G5 is a really interesting way, but there is Bishop E4, I see. That's maybe why. Victor did not play it. Okay, Queen E7, I think position is pretty equal. Um, yeah. Okay. Knight h4, Victor has to be careful to not bond knight g6. Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay, Matayan is equal, maybe better, I'm not sure. So Ferdinand, yeah, plays the rook b8. Here h4, h5, I think, and Matayan may create some problems. Yeah, h4, h5. That looks scary. Definitely does look scary. Pa -pa -pa -pum. So I'll be in top three. That's a nice thing. Not sure which place yet. That's nice thing also, I guess. <laughs> um, so, yep. Pa -pa -pum. There are two games left. Probably Nikolai is going to draw against Victor. And yeah. Ferdinand is probably going to lose to Manhayan, so maybe Manhayan will have perfect 7 out of 7 tournament. That will be insane. So let's watch like this. So Manhayan, yeah, probably after h5 Manhayan will be completely winning because h5, h takes g, I don't know how to stop this attack, so I think Ferdinand is not better. And Zaplin Nikolai maybe actually blundered. He like trapped himself. He has to go for rook f1, I, rook f1, I think. Rook gf1, probably. Maybe rook e f1 is also fine. No, bishop e4. Okay, queen h4 is forced. This, and now f takes e, or d takes e is better. Interesting. This g5 idea for Victor. Now like g6 for Nikolai. I'm not sure. <laughs> if I would be Victor, I would have just go for take this other way around. Oh, oh, f4. Oh, no, wait, knight f6. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go to Marianne's game. Yeah, h5, this, h takes g, queen h6, here, rook h8, king h8, queen h6, king g8, queen g6, if can f8, queen f7, king h8, rook h1, mate. Yep, so Ferdinand lost to Manhavang. Okay. Congratulations to Matt Havan with an awesome, very, very good 
performance, 7 out of 7 points, that's crazy. Oh, whoa, 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 I thought E3, D4 is a blunder, it blunders E3, but I think Rook F6 is needed to play by Victor. He takes F, E3 then, Rook G2, Bishop G2, King G2, F4, and then Victor will be a pawn up. Yeah, that does look correct. So I think rook f6 is needed for Victor. So Yamada won 7 out of 7. Okie dokie. Nice. Um, wait a second. That's weird. Why would... We should not play e3 and then f4. He played this, now f4 e3. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I would have just played e3, rook g2, take on g2, then play f4 and take the pawn. But I guess it is still equal position. Okay, a5. Ah, b4 idea. Yeah, that's an interesting play. Whoa. Wow, it takes. A takes B, I guess. Yep. Rook B1 now. No, Rook F2. Uh, E3 now, I guess. Put in opponent's Rook from... From, from, from second rank. So, oh, E3 actually is bad. Whoops. E3 he blunders Rook E3. But now, E3. Rook E3, Rook B1. But, I can guess. <laughs> anything. I think the result the game will end is maybe a draw or maybe Victor is going to win because I think it is very hard for Nikolai to win this. He's very passive and I don't see how he can, he can go anywhere. I guess bishop e4? No, rook c4, okay. I'm not sure about that move. Oh, hmm, rook b2 probably from Nikolai. The, yeah, Nikolai just gonna break through. These g4 and h3 pawns are stuck. d4 and c3 pawns are also stuck. So probably, uh, like, move rook a4 or e5 from Victor is good. Oh, f3, king g3, f2, rook e2. Hold on, did Victor blunder? Oh no, rook e2, rook c3. Oh yeah, I think Nikolai is lost. Now rook c3 and rook c3 f1. So yeah, <laughs> Victor is probably going to win it. And bishop c4 threat. So the question, will I get second place or will I get third place? <laughs> That's interesting. Very good game from Victor. And very... Nice game from Nikolai, but yeah, he got a bit unlucky. Victor just had way too strong pawns. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so Nikolai thinks, but I don't think there is any way to stop bishop c4. Rook of one, bishop c4. And at least a whole rook for Victor. Nice game. Yeah, very, 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 very instructive game, I would say. Yeah, this takes. <laughs> there is. <laughs> there is a king rook for me! And get this in the check all the time. Rook two, rook, rook two, rook two, rook two, rook two. Rook two. What a blunder by Victor! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He just boxed and there is no rook. Okay, what a nice tournament. Mm, I got third place. Victor got. Ooh, I got a certificate. That's cool. Um, nice. Um, so Victor had 
three more point high tiebreaker. Yeah, probably if I would get paired against Nikolai last round, I would have higher tiebreaker than Victor. But anyways, great tournament. Uh, congrats. Congrats to Matt Havan. Havan. Um, and to Anas Victor. All right. So yeah, nice tournament. Let's maybe try to analyze the game against Tavon. Wait, I want to open the game. <laughs> oh. Uh, and you download, wait, uh, there we go, where, <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was equal, and then at some point they blundered and they lost, oh well, so I'll finish the stream, hope you enjoyed it, it was fun, congrats to first, second place, thank you all for playing, so we have, let's say, Descendants, Manhavan, MACMV, 7 points first place, and Anas Victor, 5.5 uh, five and a half points, uh, with 27 tiebreaker, I have 5 and a half points, 24 tiebreaker, so I got third place, and Tapli Nikolai, 5 points, 26 tiebreaker, but tiebreaker didn't matter much here, then, Alexander Nikosor, uh, Nikosor, Vasai with fifth place, four points, and third Samir Mukherjee, three points, 26 tiebreaker, and then F A Arena Film Master Dr. Dorian, and I see the rest. Uh, Underman, we seventh place with tiebreaker, 25.5 points. Uh, eighth, Ferdinand Liuardo, we tiebreaker, 29, and then ninth. Well, also with two points, ACM, one and Shah, with 26 tiebreaker. So, 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 hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, then yeah, please join. Yeah. Thank you for following on the chess, on YouTube, and on Twitch, and as usual, click the like button and subscribe to me, and please comment this video and please my Discord. If you'll join my Discord, you'll get notifications when I start streaming on Twitch, when I post videos on YouTube, link in the description, and yeah, bye-bye, come guys, see you soon, see you on the same fun, see you on the sick,